What's going on guys? In a previous video, we saw how to create a Kali Linux persistent USB. This time around, we're going to be creating an encrypted container to store our sensitive files. So go ahead and open Veracrypt, which is the tool we're going to be using, .fr. If you don't know, this is the continuation basically of TrueCrypt, which was very popular. And you want to head over to Downloads and then to Linux and let's get the generic installers here all right sweet completed all right now fire up a terminal and let's see this is our desktop we should head over to downloads and there's our file so we want to go ahead and extract that there we go these are all the installer options now let's do a sudo since we are not as a root user anymore and we're gonna want to install the GUI version and I will install the 64-bit version depending on which live uh, flavor you're running you might have to install a different one here so let me go ahead and run that now let's choose option number one to install license terms okay just keep pressing space unless you like to read this crap all right type yes cool we've gone ahead and installed it now let's run veracrypt and let's just run it as a regular user now let's do create volume we're gonna go ahead and create an encrypted file container standard veracrypt volume now let's select a file i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my desktop location and i will call this file loot you can choose whatever location or file name you'd like hit next for the encryption algorithm, I'm going to stick with a yes, but you do have some other options at your disposal. Hit next. Now for the size, I think like 700 megabytes should be enough. Uh, again, depending on how many gigs you have available, you might want to change this. And now the password. Make sure you use a secure password, please. All right, now with the file system options, I'm gonna stick with FAT, although you do have some other options, Linux, etc. Okay, now we need to create the randomness. Just move the mouse, whatever. All right, that seems good. Now let's format it. All right, there we go. Our volume has been successfully created hit OK and there we can just hit exit if you'd like to keep your volumes organized in different tools you can hit next and create another encrypted container if that's what you choose I'm gonna hit exit now we still need to mount our volume so choose any random number from here now we have to choose the file so I'm heading to desktop and loot like that and we need to hit mount it's gonna ask you for your password all right hopefully that's the right one let's hit okay and there we go we've mounted our encrypted container now we can just drag our files here go ahead and hit cut and we'll open our file system so it is this one right here 734 megabytes let's paste these in here all right and there we go that's basically how we create the encrypted container so if we were to go ahead and dismount this you see it's gone and no one has access to those files unless they know the password this is how you should create your encrypted container to keep your sensitive files another short video we're gonna have some fun with Kali pretty soon so like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.